Babe, do you realize how hard me and Phil had to work to pick all of these old barn boards? I don't know, for some reason Joe thinks that I'm blocking his way to get to the bat wing. I don't know, I can see it. But Joe, I think you got a few things covering it too. Free the bat. Like, free bird? Free bat? I know, that was pretty sad. So, yes, I am actually going to go through the pile. Because, you know, what looks good when you're out at the barn or out in the field sometimes doesn't look all that good after it's been stored for a while. So, I'm getting a little pickier about what I keep. Like, this stuff here look good, but in reality, it's too warped. Plus, most of it's poplar. Babe, do you realize how hard me and Phil had to work to pick all of these old barn boards and risk getting bit by poisonous snakes and getting bit by rats and throwing our backs out and whatnot, and now you're just going to chuck them. Now you're just going to put them in the burn pile. Seriously? I think I could keep forcing it. I might have to take a running start at it. He's got to be feeling rocky up there. Just a little bit, just so he puckers a little. I know you can't see it, but it's uphill. Either that or we're not at the right spot. So these are hand hewn. We're going to have to haul all them logs through this washed out lane. Phil yelled out, was that a rat or a squirrel? This is a snake risk right here. When you hit the bottom, that's when you find a copperhead. Uh, maybe even a rattlesnake. All right. Free bird on. I mean, free bat. Well, I see the bat. We had to move quite a few things around. But there she is. Don't worry, girl, you're coming out. I think I'm going to use as much as I can taken out of this pile here. So they're all about the same age. Um, you can tell it's got nice uh, cambria around that heartwood which I think will look really nice on those cut ends versus just a solid heartwood. Ain't enough for, uh, room for this last one, so. Don't tell Sharon. <laughs> you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't tell her, would you? No. I mean, there ain't enough room for No, her. I would never say, <laughs> say anything. Like <laughs> no. I got a few pieces off for the bench legs and I was just starting to cut a couple for the actual table, but battery ran out on the chainsaw so I guess I will just go ahead and uh, play with these over here they're between eight and seven inches diameter wait what is that a man ruler or a woman ruler and I need a stack of two so I'm gonna get those cleaned up get all those branches cut off and get the rest of that bark I mean, it's, it's already coming off. It was just, that's the side that was laying flat on the tin. So, while the battery's charging, I guess I'll uh, get these guys ready. So, speaking of cedar trees, here's a quick look at the cabin build. The uh, Big Bertha number 2 is in there. It's not fully in place yet, but let's get a quick cabin update, because we have made a little bit of progress on the cabin build. Well, it looks like we're getting somewhere here. We have... 
one of the bedroom out inside walls. Well, it's an outside wall, I guess. It's an inside wall with the closet right there. I think I see some more. Yep. In the next bedroom. We got a wall, almost two walls. Wow, it seems like such an accomplishment and it's been a long time, so it's nice to see things are coming together. Looks like they still gotta trim out the window there, but got some insulation up there. Looks like the bathroom has insulation. I think we'll just lay it flat and then slide it back over. <clears throat> well, we may have to do it at the same time because of this thing right here. It should be enough. And uh, you can tell it's still wet. Um, that's why this needed to come off now. Otherwise, it would have cupped. Whew. So far, so good. 